Hey everyone, welcome back to Restoring the Snyderverse. This is episode 7, and today we have some unfortunate news to talk about in regards to the fan-made motion comic that was being produced for the Justice League sequels. I'll read the following statement out by the Lightcast, and then I'll explain more about what has happened. It comes with a heavy heart that we have to announce the Dreamscapes of Justice League, a motion comic, has been officially cancelled. As fans of the Snyderverse, we and a group of fellow fans took it upon ourselves to see a continuation of the cancelled story of Justice League come to life. With the involvement of actors, artists, musicians and many others, we all agreed to give our talents and time for free to achieve this goal and support the AFSP charity at the same time. What we did not foresee was the general uneasiness about the project from the general public, some rare targeted harassment towards members of the team, the countless legalities we've dealt with, and ultimately our own mistakes on certain parts of the project. We sincerely apologise to those who supported us along the way, and we acknowledge our shortcomings as highlighted by others. All work on the project has been seized immediately, with all parties involved agreeing it's for the best. Many thanks to the supporters and those who held us accountable in our faults. I just want to start by saying, targeted harassment towards members of the team is not acceptable. This is a fan-made project for the fans, and they're trying to raise money for AFSP, and they're human beings. So even though they may have made a mistake, they do not deserve to be harassed. Anyway, on with the explanation. So what exactly has happened? Well, a few days ago, tweets started to emerge revealing that the promotional images for the motion comic were extremely similar to actual comic book art. As one tweet came out, many followed. This led to a large number of people outraged that this project had copied artists' work and claimed it as their own. This number grew to the point that Lightcast decided to cancel the project. As you know, I was so excited for this project, so for it to be cancelled is a real shame. However, I do completely understand why. The release of the Snyder Cut movement was to try and get Zack Snyder the artistic integrity he deserved, and this project does contradict that message. Now I don't know if this was done with the Lightcast knowledge, with some of the artists on this project copying comic book art behind their back, or they completely knew and went ahead with it, so I can't comment on that. But what I can comment on is that I wish there was a way the whole Snyderverse community could have moved forward from this, with the project either removing the artist that did this, or completely apologising and realising their mistakes. Where we could see this project happen, I think people are overreacting to this and are being way too critical. After all, this is fan-made to try and raise money for AFSP. They weren't going to make a profit from this, and it was for the fans. Yes, they made a mistake, but should we really cancel the whole thing because of it? Also, it appears that there were some legal complications, and I'm not surprised at all, as I thought Warner Brothers would make this difficult to complete. But they do own the characters, and so legally they have every right to stop this going ahead. It's a shame, but I do understand. I do also think they should have let it go ahead as it was for charity, but legally they have every right to stop it. This project was with good intentions, with trying to raise money for AFSP, and to try and increase the hype for the Snyderverse. However, I think they executed it in the wrong way. I'm hoping that somewhere in the near future we could see something like this, but obviously with 100% original art. I still do want to thank the light cast for the project attempt. I also want to thank all the cast members that were going to be a part of this, for free may I add, as well as all the other hardworking people on this project. Like I said earlier, I hope we can see something like this in the future. I know that I've always been interested in producing and directing a film, so who knows? Maybe in the future I'll be fortunate enough to create a fan film, or be a part of one that will raise money for AFSP. I also wish they didn't cancel the project, just changed what needed to be changed, so that we could still see this motion comic. So those are my thoughts on this topic, and make sure to let me know what you think about this motion comic drama in the comments below. But that is all for today's video, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. I hope to see you here again soon, so until then, have a great day. Bye!